Every Monday, myself, along with 100 million other Spotify users, receive a playlist containing 30 tracks that seem so perfectly suited for the user that they very well could have been ripped from a cassette tape from a former lover. But the tracks on your Discover Weekly playlist aren't selected by a music-loving friend. No, this intimate musical experience is curated by some very clever computer science. going to make recommendations just for you. Automated music recommendations are nothing new. Companies such as Pandora, Google and Apple have been providing a similar service for years, but none have shared the same success as Spotify's Discover Weekly playlist. So just how is an algorithm able to predict what songs are going to get your head nodding? Well, it comes down to two main factors. The first being taste maps. Essentially, Spotify is able to profile each of its users' individual tastes in music using a technology called Echo Nest. This technology analyzes your listening history to get an idea of what genre of music you're into. And it's more specific than just rock and pop. But taste maps are just one part of this two-part recipe. The second ingredient is all to do with playlists. There are over 2 billion playlists on Spotify, each representing a unique musical taste. And it's these playlists that form the core of what makes Discover Weekly's recommendations work. Spotify's algorithms are able to analyze all 2 billion of these playlists along with any playlist that you've created and then proceeds to fill in the blanks. Essentially, if the algorithm sees that there are two of your favorite songs on a playlist, along with a third song that you haven't heard before, it'll recommend this new song to you in your weekly playlist. Spotify's algorithms then filter all of this data. The songs that have been selected from similar playlists to yours and that also match your music profile, and then it determines which ones you likely haven't heard before by interpreting your music history. It can be a little unnerving sometimes when a song comes on Discover Weekly that seems perfect for you. And it's even more bizarre to listen to somebody else's Discover Weekly playlist, a playlist optimized for somebody else's unconscious and unique music preferences. Can you please change the radio station? But this is Grand Funk Railroad. You guys back there know Grand Funk, right? <laughs> but why do we like different styles of music in the first place? If a song's good, shouldn't everybody enjoy it? After all, everybody's ears interpret sound waves in the exact same way. Well, according to Valerie Salampour, a neuroscientist from McGill University in Montreal, our brains create musical memory templates based on past musical experiences. Essentially, your brain releases dopamine, which is the body's feel-good drug, when it listens to music that is similar to other music you've heard in the past. This would explain why, if you've never listened to classical music before, the first time you tune in, odds are you won't enjoy it. It also explains why a band that fits a genre that you're familiar with is also so enjoyable, even though you've never heard it before. Of course, your brain's able to form new templates. It'll just take longer for them to form, the more unfamiliar the music is to the brain. Meaning, if your partner is really into heavy metal, give it a go. After a while, there's a high chance that you'll come around to liking it. Who knows, it might even end up on your Discover Weekly. Although Spotify Discover Weekly runs the music recommendation game at the moment, it represents something much larger. The mechanics behind what goes into delivering those 30 tracks to 100 million plus users every single Monday gives us an insight into how people will experience, enjoy, and discover music in the future. Hi guys, thanks so much for watching my video. Uh, I just wanted to point out that Spotify did not sponsor me to make this video. I was just genuinely curious about how they made my Discover Weekly playlist. If you did enjoy this video, please uh, subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. Uh, we've got some very exciting stuff coming up, so make sure to hit that bell next to the name of our YouTube channel. And in the meantime, check out some of our other videos and I will see you